How to edit your quick launch navigation links in SharePoint 2013. There are a couple of ways that you can do this and I will be showing you both. So the first way is to come over here to your quick launch, click edit links, and let's say for instance you want staffing documents underneath the documents tab. All you do is click staffing documents, drag it up below documents, and release. And now, sta and now staffing documents is there. Let's say we want to do the same for customer documents. Same thing. Click it, drag it under staffing documents, and release. Click save. That's great and all, but we really want it as a subfolder under documents. So how do you do that? Click edit links again highlight staffing documents and click it and drag it on top of documents and you'll notice it is tabbed inward and now staffing documents is a sub heading of documents let's do the same thing for customer documents and there you go click save and now you have subheadings customer documents and staffing documents under documents but let's say you want to add a link easy enough. Click edit links, click plus link, text to, text to display. Let's call our link we're going to make a link to our per user website. In the address put the address of the website you'd like to go to. You can try the link to make sure it's valid. I already know it's valid and click OK. Click Save and now you'll notice that when I click on per user FAQ it takes me to our FAQ page. There is a second way to do this. Beside my name in the right hand corner I'm going to click the site settings gear from the drop down select site settings under look and feel, click navigation. If navigation does not appear for you, there is a site collection feature that is dependent on this. Let's check that out. The site collection feature is SharePoint Server Publishing Infrastructure. Once you activate that, the navigation link will appear. Click navigation. And as you see here, here is the current navigation. You can also see our customer documents and staffing documents, our subheadings of under documents, and our new link is there. Again, you can simply move these around the same way. Click on pictures. Let's move it under home. You just select move up, move up, until you get it to where you want it. OK, that's good. Click OK. And now you'll notice pictures is underneath home. This has been a presentation by Jeff Taylor with the SharePoint at Rackspace team, and thank you for watching.